Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it's time for Sunday's sauce, our collective read. So guys, let's see what's cooking in the gravy. Clear a ground for the sauce, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Sunday's Source. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. What's cooking in the gravy? Guys, if it's not you, then it's somebody in your energetic aura that the cards could be speaking about, right? So let's see. Here we go. You got the fool. Ooh, a new beginning that somebody patiently waited for, okay? Or you have been patiently waiting. I feel like you've been patiently waiting. There's a new opportunity here. New doors are opening. It's fresh hope. It's a new path. It's a new beginning. Maybe some travel is involved. It's going to be adventurous, spontaneous, original. It's taking a chance. It's taking a leap of faith. Okay? But you need to do this. Aries energy. Because opportunities come once in a lifetime. You better use it or you're going to lose it. <laughs> All right, we make up our own words. Seven of Pentacles. This is about patience. This is about knowing that you planted a seed or seed somewhere could have been anything in your finances in a relationship in someone's mind even in your own minds right and you wait for them to you know come to fruition they they have to grow you have to tend to your garden while they're growing right so watering the bushes trimming our bushes like i tell you all the time while you're in the seven of pentacles this state of having to wait for a divine timing you could be contemplating anything right like was the juice worth the squeeze is going to be enough. Am I going to be happy with this? Did I waste my time? What you know? How much of a harvest am I? You can think about anything while you're over there, right? But you have to wait. That's it. So patiently waiting for this new beginning. Yay! Show me, please. Okay, so here we go. Well, at the foundation of this situation, somebody knew their worth and their value. Somebody, listen. The Empress is the best attributes of all four queens rolled up into one. Okay. The best of all the elements. This is somebody who's very creative. This is somebody who's very uh, fertile. Whatever they touch turns to gold. Whether they're fertilizing a plant, a person, or a, you know, a business. Somebody might have planted some seeds, let's just say, let's just say, in, you know, some kind of a um, financial situation, a business endeavor. And now you have to patiently wait for them to grow. And here's the new opportunity that comes once in a lifetime. Somebody can be making some bank over here. That's what it's looking like. Anyway, this could be anything. This could be something that you've seen, you know, that's seen worldwide. Everybody looks up to the Empress. Everybody wants to be the Empress, okay? There's respect and an admiration. And more importantly than anything else, this Empress knows who they are. They know their worth and their value. It's marriage material all the way. Show me what's going on. This person has a recipe for success. Oh, eight of wands. Something's about to take off. Rapid forward movement. Quick change. Now, between the fool and the eight of wands, that's a lot of travel. I'm not going to lie. Somebody might be traveling around. All right? Um, but with the eight of wands, this talks about, like, just speed and action. Okay? It could be the wands of love. It could be. because Or passion. Because that's, you know, wands are passionate. So it could be a new relationship. Or it could just be, if somebody started some kind of business. Let's just say a baking business. Because this is what I'm seeing here. Right? Maybe you started some kind of a cooking endeavor or some, something like this or a cupcake business online. Now, you planted the seeds. You started the business a while ago, especially if you did it while, um, yeah, while Jupiter was, yeah, definitely. Jupiter's in expansion in financial planets. So, you know, now here's the new opportunity. It's about to take off. This is it. The Eight of Wands. So, let's see what's going on. What's coming in? We have Aries and Taurus as the most predominant. Somebody goes to church on Sunday. And somebody's got, okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> I don't even know. Chanel number five. Somebody wears what? Chanel number five? <clears throat> or taboo. Something like this. Some, some, the Empress could also be like the matriarch of a family. I mean, you know, this could be. Uh, let's just see. So the Empress is also number two. I mean, number three. What am I saying? Number three. So um, the third or March. Someone could be 37 or 38. Someone could be 73. Yeah. You got the five of cups in reverse. I love it. Okay. The five of cups in reverse is when you are finding peace through clarity and acceptance. So 
You become clear on the facts of any situation in your life. And then you accept them the way they are, good, bad, or indifferent, whether that's the way you wanted them or not, whether you liked it or not, you're accepting shit for the way it is, the reality of the situation. The glass isn't half empty, the glass isn't half full, it's just a freaking glass with some fucking water in it and we can refill it whenever we want, right? So we accept the situation for what it is. We're clear on that. Once we do that, then we can forgive ourselves for not knowing what we didn't know until we knew it, most and foremost, and then forgive everybody else. And in that premise, you can then move forward and find your happiness. So the five of cups in reverse is the way to go. Okay, Whatever was lost, whatever regret, whatever sadness, whatever disappointment, grief, con you know, whatever. Regret. That's it. It's water under the bridge. It's gone. Somebody likes martinis with extra olives. Now, look at this. Here comes the knight of cups. Now, you're, you, my query, you're looking at this like it's a knight of cups, okay? You're looking at this five of cups in reverse like it's a knight of cups. So this is somebody that's coming in that wants to extend some kind of kind gesture. The Knight of Cups is also very um, seductive and romantic. So this person might want to seduce you. This could be somebody, obviously, from your past, if this is coming out of a time, you know, of clarity, and you're looking at this, like somebody's extending an olive branch. Oh, olives! Thank you, Spirit of Ancestors. So somebody's extending an olive branch. Somebody wants to, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at the moon in reverse. Yeah, what am I telling you? So listen... The moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy, this is when you see shit so clear, it, it's ridiculous, okay? It's an unveiling of secrets. It's subsiding anxiety. It's the truth, okay? It's clarity. Anything that went on in the dark is now seen in the light, right? So, if anybody had any secrets or whatever this was, this, you know, whatever the regret and loss and sadness was to begin with, now you're going to see it clear as day with this olive, olive branch, olives. Olives. I'm seeing a green outside hose. Maybe somebody's rolling up a hose or they threw the hose outside with, and they haven't rolled it up yet or something like this. Be careful you don't trip on it. So you got Cancer and Pisces energy and the moon is 18. So the 18th can be of significance. That reduces to 9. Yeah. Something can be significant about right now in May. In May here. Okay. This could be, yeah, this could be happening before the end of the month. Absolutely. Show me. Show me with the best uh, advice is the best advice, please and thank you. Okay, the best advice for pentacles. Okay, well, listen, listen to spirit. Spirit's telling you to hold back. You know, I tell you all the time, people, this is my card of constipation, okay? Meaning that, you know, sometimes you have to constipate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do not overextend your thoughts. Your, don't let people know what you're thinking. Don't be overly generous with your finances or your resources. You know, this person's not letting anybody know what they're feeling, thinking, anything. It's time to close up like a clam's ass. Yes, a clam's ass, I said. For whatever reason, okay? Maybe, you know, Four of Pentacles also talks about saving your money. Make sure you're saving your money here. Because you might need something for this new beginning. You don't know, okay? And like I said, the Seven of Pentacles is always like, is the juice worth the squeeze? We're not going to know until, you know, the juice comes out, right? So, you know, see what I'm saying? All right, show me what. So Spirit's advising you to save your money, be a little um, frugal. I'm hearing frugal. Wow, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, don't get, you know, selfish. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. With four pentacles, four pentacles in this day and age, in this economy, you have every right to be tighter than a clam's ass. Yes, you do. If you had ten pentacles and you weren't sharing, then I'd call you a cheap son of a bitch. But with four pentacles, you need to hold on to every pentacle you have, right? Absolutely. So I won't let this person come and seduce you out of any kind of finances or anything. Or anything. Don't overly extend yourself. See where it goes first. See, see what this truth is that comes out. Because it's going to be different for everybody, right? And if you're sitting here in this kind of energy where something's moving forward and you're having new opportunities that, and seeds that you planted, you know, I don't care who's coming in. you got to be careful. Maybe that's why Spirit's telling you to hold back. We're going to pull more cards. Show me the outcome. Try to make it a positive outcome for Sunday Sauce. Guys, by the way, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us. We love you. We are so grateful for you. Thank you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. Can I please have an outcome over here? You would think I was trying to get area 51 information. All right. We got judgment in reverse with what? The nine of wands in reverse. Wow. And the hermit in reverse. All right. So first off the bat, somebody here 
might have went through the dark night of the soul. And, you know, for regular people, the dark night of the soul is some kind of depression. Where they had to face themselves and they had to take their life lessons and their life experiences and transmute them, okay? Maybe they had some kind of spiritual ascension during this process. But it was about spending some time in solitude and doing some soul searching, okay? And then going by your own in introspection. The problem is with the nine of wands in reverse, somebody might be stubborn and refusing to compromise. And it could be because somebody's very indecisive here. Somebody doesn't want to make a decision, all right? So maybe that's why Spirit's telling you to hold back. Because while this Knight of Cups may be coming in very seductive and kind and want to pop, you know, pop some crisps or eat some olives or extend the olive branch that I'm telling you, you don't really know what this person, you never really know what anybody's intentions are. So, you know, I guess it's predicated on whatever this truth is that you find out. Oh, wait, there's more. All right, so someone's not making a decision. They're indecisive, okay? And they're being stubborn about not making this decision. You know, somebody could be on, somebody could be gaining some kind of weight. Somebody could also be on a high protein, like where they're eating all meat. Um, what is that, Atkins? Yeah. And, it, you know, somebody might be lonely here. This is, somebody might be really lonely here. And maybe that's why, yeah. This person, is, I'm not going to say antisocial, but they could be very withdrawn. And this is why they're having a hard time making a decision. So with the Nine of Wands in reverse, yeah, maybe this person is feeling a little defensive. This person could be feeling defensive. Just be careful. So maybe 31 here, or 39, or 40. Here, the bottom of the deck, we got a five of wands. Ooh, the four of swords. Somebody needs to relax after a bunch of fighting over here. Let's see if we can pull some more cards first. Give me some more. What else do you have? What else do you have? Do you have anything else for this? Here we go. We got the page of cups. Okay, it's coming out in reverse. You could be dealing with somebody who's a little immature here. You could be dealing with a child. You could be. But also the page of cups in reverse is... It's somebody who might be, you know, avoiding some kind of conflict and feeling unrealistic in some way. Yeah. Somebody might be immature. Let me see what else is going on. What else? What else? Somebody likes to bake a lot around here. I've got a baker in the house. Show me. Somebody also likes the honeymooners or... Okay, somebody sleeps with old school rollers, like those pink rollers. So somebody sleeps with rollers at night, like old school. And somebody likes, like, what are they putting? Pond's cold cream or some shit on their face? Some kind of white shit on their face. And the rollers. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing, like, the Honeymooners or I Love Lucy or something. Something like this. The older shows. Two of Cups. See, so you and this person, you definitely feel the same way about each other, okay? But this person is really feeling very insecure. I'm not even going to say they're immature. I'm saying that they're insecure. I'm, I'm hearing insecure. Okay. Maybe they don't. This is. It could be because of some level of isolation that maybe they had to spend by themselves. And then, you know, maybe they just. That's why they're not compromising. Or it's, it's a very high level, like I said, of. Yeah. Some kind of struggle that they're going through, like where they're defensive. But it's, it's a, listen, it's a new relationship. It's a new joining of forces. My hand is itching. Okay. Here, yeah, now you get to, ooh, well, somebody's watching somebody, okay? Somebody's what? Somebody here, okay, pay, somebody's trying to take time. They could be stalling. Somebody could be stalling to try to gather some kind of information. Now, I will tell you the page of swords is in reverse. So somebody's trying to gather information to see what's wrong with somebody. Like, what are they hiding? What's bad about them? What kind of secrets do they have? What, you know, what do they do that's, you know, in the dark? Something like this, okay? They're not like... They're trying to gather information, but in a negative way. What else is going on here? This is crazy. Okay. We also have... Oh, yeah. Again, the four swords and the five of ones. They came out together. There might be a lot of conflict over this. or some fighting or people wanting to argue. But you... Oh, listen. There's going to be a shock and surprise. You, you definitely uh, completed this cycle, okay? There was some kind of achievement. You're going to have some kind of achievement with this. You're going to heal. You're going to heal. Because the Four of Swords is about healing all day, every day. And then contemplating your next steps forward. Over this time of disagreement or some kind of um, some kind of drama. Whatever this drama is, alright? You definitely completed the cycle. You're going to get some kind of surprise and a shock. It's going to be from somebody who wants to articulate themselves very clearly. This person is very fair and balanced. This person has some kind of higher perspective of something. Okay? You have Leo energy in the house. Somebody needs to be resilient and not have any self-doubt here. This is what's going on. 
because there will be a transformation in this situation all right somebody's going to take an inspired action after coming out of this time of you know trying to figure out how to stop being so defensive over here and then there's going to be a new offer oh that's nice then there's going to be a new offer okay so that's not bad that's good all right so that's sunday sauce let's see what we have here we have aries taurus scorpio leo scorpio again mm -hmm. pisces and cancer taurus and virgo as the most predominant but you know it could be anything um let's see what's going on with the tea here what the hell is that thank you tiberius i love you all right here we go somebody's barbecuing i'm seeing um i'm seeing um skewers like this is a jackpot somebody's hitting the jackpot winning money got it got somebody's gonna get unexpected money here could be through an inheritance a scratch off anything right a lottery ticket i don't know maybe you're gonna find it maybe you're gonna get a raise maybe somebody's gonna give you you know a tip or a bonus or something like this okay there's some kind of legal issue somebody might have this could be like immigration getting immigration or something like this i don't think it's anything big it could be like parking tickets somebody's talking shit see this is this person too this page of swords in reverse would be trying to find that information to talk shit about show me here and someone here someone here oh someone here's having a romantic love affair Ooh, and people talking shit about it. <laughs> That's like hitting the jackpot. Good. Make, give them something to talk about. Some kind of secret lover or something. I don't know. Secret lover. Somebody's going to get a sex fix. This could be starting trouble for somebody here. If somebody's cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up. They're dramatic. I fucking hate dramatic people. I hate drama. Oh, my God. So horrible. So horrible, people. All right. Here we go. Give me a positive affirmation. If you can't say a positive affirmation, please, for the love of God, say something you're grateful for in the morning to start the set the intention for the day. And then the intention will be the attitude of gratitude. So if you don't like these, go find your own. But do something positive so that you attract positivity back to you. Please and thank you. Okay? Today I live in the present. Today I will start with a smile and I am in control of my attitude. And what will that attitude be, people? I can hear you all saying it. An attitude of gratitude. Exactly. One more. One more. One more. Somebody's got some kind of a rodent infestation. Somebody's drinking iced tea. There's no sugar in it. Here we go. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to a barbecue. I'm seeing steaks on the barbecue. I'm seeing, you know, those scores with shit on them. Today I am accepting. Today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind. To new ideas and opportunities. And you know, I was just meditating on that before. It's so important. Even if you agree to disagree. To, you know, with all the comments on the channels. I love when people come in and they put their different opinions in. Because there's so many. Listen, there's so much that you don't know. That you don't even know that you don't know. I'll say that again. There is so much in this life that you don't know. That you don't even know that you don't know it. There's so much to learn, right? So people's opinions. I mean, all different ways, right? Listen. There's 75 freaking ways to slice a chicken. There's no right way. As long as the chicken gets off the bone and in your face, you're all right, right? Today, I'm adventurous. Today, I will get out of my comfort zone and try something I've never tried before. Yes, let's do that. Like cutting the chicken a different way. Or listening to people's, you know, different interpretations of things. I love it. I love it. I learn. I'm going to be learning to the day I die, like Albert Einstein, right? I said that at 80. Still learning. Okay, so we have... Somebody's tying a knot, a knot... G N T D. Okay, let me see. We have two O's. We have an A. We have two T's now. All right, guys, that's a blank. Oh, we got two blanks. That's crazy. All right, you have two E's, two O's, an A, and two blanks. G N T T D. Thank you, guys. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. Till next time, love, light, and laughter.